Why are you training in your son and your daughter if you are raising them like that? Every single meal is cooked by the mother. So the girl at the age of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all she knows is how to, eat, how to put bread into a toaster. She doesn't know how to blend spices. She doesn't know how to cook. She doesn't know how to make a meat dish. She doesn't know how to make a chicken dish. She doesn't know how, she hardly knows how to make a salad. You say, but mashallah, she's got nine GCSEs. I don't want GCSEs. You want a wife who can look after you, look after your children. So whilst you're out there working and providing, when you come home, and then you're going to send your daughter off to marry a man and she doesn't know. Except how to use a microwave. That's all she knows. Tell her to make some rice. Well, uh, you know, we used to just get Uncle Ben's and put it in the microwave. MashaAllah. And these women are walking around so proud of their daughters. MashaAllah, my daughter, my daughter. What's good about your daughter? She knows how to read a microwave manual. Or that she's got a few GCSEs. This is the cultivation. So now, how is she going to raise her children? Like mom taught me. MashaAllah. So what happens when you raise your children like that? So, the point here being that you guide your children to what is sound and cultivate them with an excellent tarbiyah. And you yourselves, mothers, must be good examples and role models to be followed so that they follow you.